Hi everybody and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make the station wagon bracelet. This was designed by the Loom Guy on Instagram and I will bring up his profile in just a second. So here we are. This is the Loom Guy's profile. Um, I really love his edits. I just think they're really cool. And this is just a look at some of the photos that he has on his profile. So I would definitely make sure to check it out and give him a follow for me. And I'll also have his name in the description box below. And so to make this today, you're going to need five bar pins or two looms in like this configuration. So it's a staggered configuration in the middle and then you have another pin aligned on each of the sides. This was a full wrap, or this is a full wrap that I made using two looms long but today I'm only using one loom. So um, you're also going to need a hook HC clip and I would recommend four colors. If you want to use more you can. If you want to use less you can too. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and get started with kind of placing the bands and I'll talk or I'll say um, what colors I'm using for what parts along the way. So to start we're going to place our border color which in here is the navy blue jelly and in I'm going to be using neon pink today. So what you're going to do is just start in, starting from that center peg, go out to the left and out to the right, and then you're just going to go across one peg, like horizontally, until you reach the very outside. And then you're going to do two single chains on the sides that go all the way down until the second to last peg here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. It's pretty simple, you're just laying one band after the other all the way down your loom. You can also make this on one loom. I forgot to say, you can also make this on one loom. Um, you would just have to do this side first and then do this side. Um, because there's capping bands in the middle, which you can transfer if you like. So if you want to make a full wrap but you only have two looms, you can do that. Or if you only have one loom, I'll try to put an annotation in the beginning um, to kind of say before I even start this. Once you've reached the second to last pegs on each of the sides, you're going to go one peg in and then up into that final center peg. There you go. Now push down your bands so that we can have some room to place the next bands. And now what we're going to be doing is placing X bands, which in here is these bands, it's ocean blue jelly. And for that I'm going to be using neon yellow. By the way, the neon pink and the neon yellow are from Michaels and so is this neon blue. So to start, what you're going to want to do is take your neon yellow and from this outside peg, go in to the center there and from this outside peg into the center here. Then take another one and go to the outside and to the outside. Again from the outside going in and then from the inside going out. You will want to place it in this order just so that you don't get confused when you loop because it's important which way you loop your bands. So you're going to do this all the way down your loom as well. I'm just going to go ahead and do the left side first and then I'll come back and do the right side. Your last X will be placed right here, as you might have assumed since that's where the border bands end. So I'm going to go ahead and push these bands down and do this right side now. 
again from the outside going in and it's the um, like from the outside going in is the same thing as inside going out on the left side just so like don't get confused you want to go from the outside to the inside and then from the inside to the outside on both sides I hope that wasn't confusing Okay, again, once you finish that, push down your bands. And now come back to the beginning, and we're going to be placing these bands kind of simultaneously. So we're going to be placing the white and the turquoise jelly. For the white, I will be using neon blue. And for the turquoise jelly, I will be using black. Okay? And also, for the white in the center, I'll be using um, neon blue again. So, what you're going to want to do is start with your white band, or your neon blue band, and you're going to go straight on the second and the four, or the, yeah, second and fourth, sorry, pegs. Then take two of your black bands from the first peg, go into the center, and then back out. And then from here into the center and back out. And then you're going to place another blue band, go into the center and then back out. And I'm just going to do this all on the left side first. And you do want to make sure that you're placing the blue band first and not just doing it all the way down the loom but placing the blue band and then doing two of your black and then doing a blue band again that's kind of what gives it this little look here on the sides which i think is really cool And then your last one will be placed here, going straight, and then taking your two black and going to the inside and then back out. So push these bands down. I'm going to push them down and then come back and do the right side. But if you're only doing this on one loom, um, just kind of skip past this part, I guess, because I'm just going to be doing the same thing on the other side. And last one. Alright, so now once we've finished doing that, what you're going to want to do is just put away your black bands and get out your cap band color. Oh, I almost dropped that. 
which in here is white, and I'll be using neon blue again. And if you're doing this on one loom, this will be your cap bands that you will then transfer to the other side. If you're doing this on two looms, then just don't worry about it. So what you're going to do is you're going to want your hook probably, is you're going to triple cap this on your hook. You have three loops. And you're then going to place place it, sorry, on that, oops, on the center of that X. Then take another one and just kind of stretch it out a little. Triple cap band putting it on that X. And you're going to do this all the way down your loom for all of the X's. Also this bracelet is pretty tight and it's kind of like um, thick. It's not really like thick but it's, it's really strong and sturdy I think so. Definitely use strong bands because you will be pulling a lot of bands I think. Oops. To loop that again. If you're doing a two loom length version, your fingers might get tired after doing triple caps for a while. Just gonna, he's saying. Alright, and then your last one will go right here on that last X. And then we need three more bands for the cap bands at the bottom. But first I'm going to turn my loom around because we're done placing pretty much all the bands. Make sure that your ears are pointing towards you, and I'm going to go ahead and grab three more bands. The first one, all you're going to do is place a simple cap band here, just a double cap. Then take two more of your border colors, you're going to be placing them on these two sides here, and you're going to triple cap them. So I'm triple capping that, putting it there, then triple capping that and putting it there. And now what you're going to do is we're going to loop these black bands first. So going underneath of this triple cap band here, you're just going to grab the top band and pull it back towards itself. Grab the next top band and pull it back towards itself. And if you're only doing this on one loom, you're going to have these three pins here and then you're just going to loop this entire side and then transfer it and just loop this entire side. Oops. If you grab two bands, try to put them back on so that you don't get them all tangled. Especially with triple cap bands, it's hard. Okay, so once, oops, I think I looped that one wrong, maybe? Alright, I'm just going to take these off and do that. And then I'm going to go in here and try and grab this. Come on, bands. This is experiencing some technical difficulties here. There we go. Then once you've pulled that out, you're going to go to the next one and do the same thing. Oh my gosh, I keep losing my band. Okay, there we go. And you're just going to do this all the way down your loom. As you can see, I'm experiencing a lot of technical difficulties with my triple caps and my black bands, but hopefully it'll work out in the end when I pull this off of the loom. Try not to get them twisted. If you do get them twisted, it's a lot harder to untwist them when it's off of the loom, like in bracelet form.
Okay. So once you've done that, you're going to want to push down these zigzag bands so that you have room to loop your next set. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to loop the X's first rather than loop the single chain here first. So what you're going to want to do is make sure that you can find the top band of your X, which is this one for me, and you're going to make sure that you don't loop that one first. You're, sorry, I'm, I know that was kind of confusing. You're going to loop the bottom band of your X first, so go underneath of both of those black bands and underneath of that neon blue one. Grab the bottom band of your X, which should be this one, if you did it the way I did. You're going to pull it to itself, then go inside of the triple cap, grab the top band, and pull that to itself. And they should all be the same, like all of the ones here should be the bottom and all the ones here should be the top. So you're going to pull that bottom one to itself and then the top one to itself. So bottom, top, bottom, top. And you're just going to do this all the way down your loom. And these um, single chain bands are going to get caught in there, which is going to make it a little bit harder to loop because you have to um, you have to like push the bands out of the way, and it's just kind of difficult to grab them. But they aren't going to get like lost or anything. Okay, once you get to the top, just kind of push these bands down. And I'm going to go ahead and loop the other side. So going inside and making sure that I grab this bottom band here, looping that out to itself, then going inside the triple cap, grabbing that band and looping it into itself. bottom band first and then the top band. And then your last bands are there, so I'm going to go ahead and push all of these bands down so I have room to loop my next bands. And those next bands are going to be these little single chains here. So you're going to, the first one is probably the easiest, go underneath of here, grab the first neon blue band, and pull it straight forward onto itself. And then you're going to go in here and try and grab the next neon blue band, which is going to be a little bit difficult because the um, X bands are already pulling it. You're just going to push back those bands. It should be the very bottom one, like the last one. And you're just going to pull it forward. This is actually easier for me now than it was the first time I made this bracelet, which was this one, so I don't know why it is, but I'm glad that it is easier. And once you pull that up to the top, you might just want to push down the top one. And then you're going to repeat this on the other side, so going underneath of the black, grabbing that blue, pull it up. I think maybe this was the side I had problems with. Yeah, I definitely think I had problems with this side.
Now once you pull that up to the top, just again push down that top one and come back to the beginning. Now all we have to do is loop the border. So you're going to go underneath of this cap band, grab the top band, pull it out to itself, grab this one, pull it out to itself, and inside of here, pull that to the outside, and pull this to the outside. Then just go to the very bottom, grab that band, and pull it forward. This one, or this band that you're pulling forward, shouldn't be super stressed out because you're just grabbing the X band and the other, or like the previous border band. Okay, once you pull that forward, pull that one to the inside, pull this one straight up, and I'm just going to pull that cap band off so that it doesn't stretch out or get hooked when I'm trying to pull off my bracelet. Okay, again pulling that to the inside and this up to the very top. I'm going to grab an extension band and stick my hook down through here and grab this and pull it through. I'm not going to pick off my um, center caps because they, um, they just come off really easily anyway. So it's the X bands I feel like that are the hardest to pull off, like this row down here. Trying to make sure that my um, pins don't pop up. Okay, so this is what the back side will look like, and this is what the signature or front side should look like. All right, so I'm pretty happy with how that came out. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Make sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll have the Loom Guy's name in the description box below. Make sure to check him out. Give him a follow on Instagram. His account is awesome. And that's all I'm going to have for you guys today, and I hope to see you next time.